everyone, this is Chocowet here, and today I'm going to be presenting to you my top 10 bows in Skyrim. This list was originally suggested to me by a little YouTuber, so thanks for watching my videos, dude. Up at number 10, I have Ferenial's End. This is a unique elven bow left behind for the Dragonborn by Gabriella during the Dark Brotherhood quest, Bound Until Death. It can be found in a corner, which also happens to be a perfect archery position for an assassination. It does a base damage of 13 and the target takes 20 points of frost damage to health and stamina. 9. Golder Black Bow This is an ancient Nord bow that absorbs a maximum 30 points of magicka while doing a maximum damage of 14. It can be retrieved from German's Hole during the quest Forbidden Legend. For number 8 I have Zephyr. This is a unique dwarven bow that belonged to the adventurer Katria and can be obtained during the quest added with the Dongar DLC Lost to the Ages. It has a base damage of 14 but also reloads 30% faster than other bows, making it do more damage per second than any archery weapon in the game. It can be found hanging precariously on a log in the Dwemer ruins of Arkanthasm. 7. The Glass Bow of the Stag Prince this unique bow does a base damage of 16 and the wielder receives a blessing of increased damage for every 20 animals killed using this bow. The stag prince in the name incidentally refers to the Daedric Prince Hercene. It can be bought from Falvis Selvain at the Ramshackle Trading Post, but sometimes it must be pickpocketed off of him as he will have it equipped. 6. Stallroom Bow the easiest way to obtain this bow is to either buy it from Glover Mallory or Baldor Iron Shaper. Otherwise, it can be found as random loot or can be forged with a smithing skill of 80 in the ebony smithing perk. It does a base damage of 17 and if it is enchanted with frost, it is 25% stronger than when on other bows. It comes with the Dragonborn DLC. 5. The Daedric Bow This demonic looking bow does a base damage of 19 and begins to appear around Skyrim when the Dragonborn has reached a level 46. To craft it, it requires a smithing level of 90 in the Daedric Smithing perk, or it can be created at the Astronach Forge under the College of Winterhold with a Conjuration skill of 90. 4. Oriel's Bow This is an elegant bow from the Dawnguard DLC that does 20 points of burning sun damage, while undead targets will take triple the damage. It has a base damage of 13 and is obtained at the end of the quest touching the sky while in the Forgotten Veil. Vale. If sun hallowed arrows are shot through this bow at the sun, it will explode, causing a rain of sunlight to cascade down onto enemies. If blood cursed arrows are shot at the sun, it will turn black and create a false night for the rest of the day. 3. The Dragon Bone Bow this bow is similar in appearance to the hunting bow, yet it does 20 points of damage. It requires a smithing level 100 to forge as well as the dragon armor perk. However, it can be looted off of one of the keepers in Soul Cairn with the Dawnguard DLC. For number 2, I have chosen the Enhanced Dwarven Crossbow. This is a work of art, and the crossbow comes with the Dawnguard DLC and is the strongest of its kind. It does a whopping 22 points of damage and can be obtained by finishing the 6th ancient technology quest with the Dawnguard faction. It does more damage than any other bow in the game, as well as penetrating 50% of the target's armor. And for number one, I have chosen the Nightingale Bow. This is a unique bow given to the Dragonborn by Carlia during the Thieves' Guild quest, Blindsided. It does a maximum of 19 damage and targets will take shock, damage, and freezing damage. The bow levels with the Dragonborn, therefore the base damage depends on the Dragonborn's level when they receive the bow. I hope you've enjoyed my list and found it helpful. I would love to give a shout out to my dank boys, Christian and Jaden, for they are entertaining friends and I appreciate their support. Remember to like and subscribe. Bye!